Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make resin stickers like in the charms above and I have two methods on how I make these. For my first method on making resin stickers is probably the least expensive out of the two. What you will need is either a laminator or a mink machine, heat transfer foil, and a laser printer. It is very important that you use a laser printer because this method will not work with the inkjet printer. You're also going to need clear sticker paper or transparency film, whichever you prefer. Usually transparency film is cheaper. So here I'm showing you guys my um, designing process. I usually use my iPad to design my stickers and I use either Procreate or Affinity Designer. It is just more convenient for me to design on my iPad as opposed to on my laptop because I can really control everything with my Apple Pencil and yeah. So now I'm going to upload everything into a Word document and I'm going to make sure that I resize my stickers to my mold size. I always like to um, use a ruler and measure out my molds and then measure out how I want my sticker size to be. It's kind of a process that takes like trial and error so now I have an idea of what sizing to go for my molds. When printing out my stickers I make sure I pick the label option for my printer because the way that it prints is different than regular paper so make sure you use that setting when you're printing out your stickers. Now that I have my designs printed on the sticker paper and the transparency film, I'm going to take my heat transfer foil and I'm going to measure it to the papers and I'm going to cut it down in size so that when I use my pouch later on it can fit into it perfectly and I don't have any issues. Now on the mix machine I'm putting my setting to number 4 and then I'm placing my stickers with the heat transfer foil into the pouch. I always like to use a pouch because it keeps the foil from sticking into the machine and I've had that happen to me in the past and you do not want that to happen. And if you're using a regular laminator then follow the settings on that laminator. And I always like to make sure to put the stickers in at least twice just because I want to make sure that the heat transfer foil really sticks to the toner from the laser printer. So this is how everything came out and I'm really happy with the results. I mainly really like using the sticker paper just because I feel like it sticks better the heat transfer foil and that's why I mainly use those instead of using the um, transparency film when I'm using this method but like I said before the transparency film is cheaper
So for the second method, you're going to need a cutting machine like the Cricut Explore Air 2 or a Silhouette. You're also going to need transparency film again and vinyl. This is what I usually use for my stickers because I prefer the way that they look over heat transfer foil, but this method is a little bit more expensive. After designing my stickers, I'm going to upload them to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to make sure I click the simple option and I'm going to use the erase magic tool just to get rid of anything that I don't want cut and I'm going to make sure that I save my design and then I'm going to resize it to the size of the mold and then I'm going to get everything ready for it to be cut out. Whenever I'm using holographic vinyl, I always like to make sure that my setting is on vinyl plus on the machine and that I'm going to hit the go button and let the machine start cutting away. So now I'm going to use my weeding tool and just get rid of anything that needs to be weeded out of the design that I don't want to be transferred onto the transparency film. So now I'm going to take my transfer tape and I'm going to start measuring and cutting to the sizing of the sticker and I'm going to use a squeegee and really push it onto the, um, the sticker so that I can make sure that it comes up properly and if anything starts to pull away I just go back in with the squeegee and really try to get it to stick on there. So now I'm going to peel off the transfer tape and apply it to the transparency film. You could always just leave it on the transfer tape and just apply it into the mold, but I prefer doing this method just because it's just easier for me and I can make sure that it will really stick down in the mold with the resin and yeah, and it's just per preference honestly too. So for you guys who have been watching me for a while now, you guys would know that before I start anything with my resin, I always like to make sure that I get rid of any bubbles and any debris because I like to make my first layer as clear as I can possibly get it. I know I can never get it super clear, but I can try. And then I'm going to take tweezers and I'm going to plop it into the mold with the resin and with the stickers and I'm going to start pushing it down with a toothpick and you want to really make sure you push it all the way down there. There will be some bubbles that will come up but we're going to use a blowtorch to get rid of those. Also using toothpicks is really convenient because you're able to position the stickers where you want them to be. Just keep in mind when the resin is drying they might shift around a bit. Now you just have to wait a few hours and you can pour the second layer over this. So before ending this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I sell silicone molds for resin. So if you've been wanting to get into resin for a while now, I have a variety of molds available on my website, which I will link down below. 
So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and share this video with your friends. See you guys next time. Thank you.